got angry with me. No, it's definitely not because he looks at me through Jesus. You have to understand this. What I'm, what I'm going to do in my, in my last couple of minutes is just to give you guidelines. Guys, a guideline is not a law. I don't tell you what you have to do. I'm telling you, if I were in your position, maybe I would do it this way. Isn't God angry with me? No, He's not. Definitely not. Because He's looked through me, look at me through Jesus. One day, many years ago, I remember one of the speakers standing in front here, he took his spectacles off, and he wrote there Jesus, and he said, <laughs> now, for the rest of the lecture, he was, he, he was looking through this, through this black Jesus letters, but, but that's, that's the, practicality, the practicality of it. Okay. Here is what God's saying about it. And he's saying it very loud. I don't say that it's God, it's just a picture that I get on the internet, but to give you the, 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 the impression. In Hebrew 18 he says, For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind, the way they're thinking, and write them onto their hearts. Now here comes the, the best part. And I will be to them a God, and they shall be my people. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness, and, and their sins and their inequities I will remember no more. Now guys, in this walk of your of you were with God, if you make a decision, not thinking about your past, your wrongdoing, for whatever reason do you want to think about it? Right? Eh? Eh? Is that what The God is so mocking. If God made this decision and said, when I look at Calvin, I just see him through the eyes of Jesus and I'm watching him for the way forward. He's never <coughs> going to look at any one of us wrongdoings in the past. If you already made that, that, that decision, how for what reason will we carry on with it? Just to, to, to show you how serious God is about this, just two chapters further, he just say it again. Hebrews 10, 16. This is the covenant that I will make with them of the those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts and on their minds, and I will write out. And on their mind, I will write them. And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Come on, guys. Take this every day with you. Wherever. It is not the other. As I said, 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 Do you hear what I'm trying to say? 
So whatever you think about your past, all the wrongdoings, all the bad stuff, you walk out here today with a clean slate. As from the day on with it, what you're doing now, what you're going to do later this afternoon, and what you're going to do tomorrow and, 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 and the next year. This is where you are with God. If God is saying that, why do you want to go back to the past? Where do we start? Guys, if I said to you, okay, I've got the following 20 steps to follow, or rule number 1 to 50, this will be a lie. We are everyone in our own relationship with God. I want you to think about your first relationship with your girlfriend. Can you do that? Think back. Or, or, or the wife that you are married to. Think back about that, how that relationship started. Was there, any, was, was there a rule book that you followed? If she, if, 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 she, if, if she blinked twice, then you have to take her hand. And if, if, and if she accepts that, then you have to try and kiss her. Huh? No, man, you just follow your... Your what? Gut. Your gut? Your heart. Your So what it says, in this relationship, in this walk with God, just follow your heart. He's a, he's a, he's a friend. He's a, this is a, maybe a new relationship for me. Just walk in the relationship. Very good friend of us. She explained to me what, what, what she's doing. They've got a very nice uh, house on top of a mountain. And when she's alone there, she said to us, she prepared a very nice meal. She cooked the best food that she's got available. And she took out the crystal glass glasses and a little bit of wine, of, 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 of good, the best wine that she took. And she set two places in her dining room. And she invited God to have dinner with her. <laughs> That's what they call intentional relationship. Another friend of us, she's very, very mad about her pink steady stump. So when she when she needs extra time with God, she can buy pink steady stumpy two stalls, two stalls inside. Go and sit where nobody can see her and where nobody can subtract her attention. And now she's fellowshipping with God. Have a steady stumpy with God. That's intentional relationship. You can say well, that that's odd. It's odd to you, it's odd to you. It's fine. I'm fine with it. But I've got also my way of doing the intentional relationship thing. It works for me. We are everyone in our own relationship. Therefore, you have to hear from God where to start. I can't tell you, okay, do this, do that. If you put your head down in the Word, you will never be out of have to do. What I'm saying with that to do is, the moment you start reading, <coughs> you will just know. The Spirit of God inside will just guide you. Okay, do this. It helps me a lot to find new friends that also seeking God. In our first cell group, there was about five families. If I'm thinking back about them, I, 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 I said to myself, we are very stupid. Word one. Very, very stupid. All of us. We were very broke. All of us. All of us was running after every new thing. If we heard about what's that guy from America that prayed the people stand up from, from the wheelchairs? He was in his London. Then we organized a bus and we drive from Port Elizabeth down to his London because we can't miss this American. Healer, healer, healer. Penny. <laughs> Guys, what I want to say to you, your new walk with God must be joyful. If it's not joyful, run. You are at the wrong place. And I'm very serious about it. If you experience your relationship with God as a thing that 
that that you that you don't want to do it and you battle to do it and it's actually not nice, you don't enjoy it, then you're at the wrong place. Because walking with God is, is, is a joyful experience. Every message must be good news. If you're at the church or cell group or even and people are, 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 are talking about God and it's not good news, run, you're at the wrong place. Can you see how that guy run? Can you see the sweat on his face? Huh? Run, you're at the wrong place. Because when we talk about, about God and about the gospel and about who God is, it's good news. It has to be. Huh? Come on, man. What's the problem with the Come on, you don't want to see this. If everybody is too holy and never make mistakes around you, run. You're at the wrong place. Because we are all human beings. We all make mistakes. A good friendship for me, guys, is a place where I can just be myself. Amen. I want to go to go to my congregation on Sunday morning. It's family to me. I don't have to act. I don't have to put the 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 the, the, the best part in front. Where I came from. The people on Sunday morning talk a little bit softer. And they dress a little bit neater. And they are very rude. But they don't have to. So I'm very happy where I am at the moment. And I'm so, I'm so blessed I've got a congregation like, like that in Port Elizabeth. There's another one in Luton, up in Mosul. So we're all going to do that. We'll be just with Peter. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, <laughs> what I'm saying is, get yourself in a place where you enjoy your walk with God. That's what I'm trying to say. It must be joyful. You have to enjoy it. If any church wants you to be a member for any other reason than relationship, run! Because you're still at the wrong place. God is walking with God and the people around you is not to be on the list so that you have to do this and you have to do that and it become another career. That was never God's plan. I don't see that in the gospel. It's relationship. Yeah. When you walk into your congregation and you say, Hi, oh, Michael, you're here. You're from okay now. Say, what's last week? Who's here? 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 And who's here? 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 Who's and here's the song about the God who's made and stuff. Say, yes, no, this by at work, this by at work, yes. I say, I say, this way for it. I say, hold on, hold back. I'm super honest. Man. If I have to give you guidelines for this walk, it will be start praying. But I specifically put talking in brackets behind it. Start talking to God. Two way communication. God's praying is not, Lord help me, Lord this, Lord that, Lord groceries, can I, no, 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 no. I was, a, I, I, I walked with the, with the Lord a couple of years and then I realized I'm the, doing the talking. <coughs> Hello, it's one way communication between me and God. So I, I teach myself to give him time to talk to me. And why I'm saying it to you, I'm mean, honest, I haven't done that in the last month. I must get back, 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 back there too. But I go sit with the Lord and say, Lord, I just want to honor you. I just want to make you, Lord, what do you want to say to me? And just wait on him. Sometimes it's nothing, and it's fine. Sometimes in that waiting period, old friends will. Maybe you must call contact that guy. That will try to do whatever, don't worry. That is communication between you and God. I want to stir that up. Start reading the Bible with a plan. Now, if the people in my, my, in my, in my small group they heard that a couple of times now, but tomorrow morning, there's a specific lecture on it. So I'm not going to into detail. 
But guys, not reading your Bible systematically is like planting a tree or a small little plant and don't give him water. Exactly the same thing. Trust God. He is the only 100% trustworthy source that there is and ever will be. Trust is something that develops. Come on, God. <laughs> you have to enjoy it. Fear is not part of God's plan. In 2 Timothy 1 7, for God hath has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. Near the only, not part of your walk with God. Now you can say, but God, what about healing? Jesus Christ took all of our sicknesses. He started to live after day three and five. He took all our sicknesses on him. Now I get cancer. Now what now? What now? Let go, come on, let's get practical now. What now? <coughs> the first thing I, 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 I don't do is I don't get on the garment of cancer. Because, because the doctor says you've got cancer. Is it true? Maybe it is. Let's say most probably it is. But I'm not going to walk out and say, oh, I'm not, I've, I've got cancer. I said, you know what? The doctor says there's symptoms of cancer inside me. But I don't, I, I don't, don't take that. I know that Jesus Christ is my healer. That Jesus Christ took all my sicknesses on Him. So if I walk with Him, thank you Lord that you are my healer. My first focus is not the oncology department. My first focus is God. You can ask our children. When they were small, they come out of the room. The room will pop up. Actually, for all I believe, come as a bitch for you, Father. In the name of Jesus, I am trying to come from this world. Keep this for me. Was we're a story from a friend, a friend of us, the cat is sick. So what do I do? And he and and he called the family together. Said we have to pray for the cat. Grandfather, you you hold the cat. So, up us in the middle, the kids and everybody around, they pray for the cat. When, when, when there's an animal, just oh, well, put down the cat, the cat is sorted out. You see, the attitude, the, the way they were, they were teach. Nobody even said, but what about, what about curses? Is there something like curses? Are you cursed through your previous generations? Are you cursed by certain organizations? I, I don't want to mention names now, or is this not time for we to go into it? There is something like that, for sure there. But, the Bible is saying that Jesus Christ become the curse. So if there's a curse running through your family and you allow it, it's still there because you allow it. The moment you give that curse to Jesus, that curse doesn't exist anymore for your family, for you and your family. You allow it. If you don't allow it, you don't allow it. It's under the, un, un, under the cross. Those circumstances will also help you to decide what comes first. If you're bankrupt and 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 and, and EPSA or, or First National is going to come and fix your vehicle on Monday, I I, I I suggest you start with money wise. Guys, I, I was when, when when I get to the law, our finances was very low. It was lower than that. So I took the book and I said, Father, if Uncle Anger says he's, he's, he's farming out of this book, I'm going to do business out of this book. And I start reading every page and every word about finances. There's plenty of it. There's more about finances here than love and anything else. So if your marriage is, 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 is on the road, 
then you start reading about it. Whatever you find is the, is, is the immediate crisis, relationship with your kid, your working environment. Maybe you don't have a job at all. Take note. Forgiveness starts by yourself. You have to forgive. But forgiveness starts by yourself. If you walk out there on Sunday afternoon and you still feel bad about all your own doings, guys, you're wasting time, man. Come on. Forgive yourself. Start. Focus on, on, on the near beginning. What do you speak? Proverbs 18.21 Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it shall eat the fruit of it. It's so I can carry it on and on and on. I don't have to talk about alcoholism or racism or whatever-ism. You know what is wrong in your life. It helps if you gather people with the same kind of problem around you. A friend of mine that was an alcoholic said to me, every time he's very, very well known, if I mention the name, each and every one of you will know him. Um, he, he, he said to me, Darby, if, I, if I'm driving up Cape Road, and I saw the places where, where, my, where I was hanging out with the boy, it is as something suck me to go back there, just to go have one beer. But I know if I have that one beer, it's the end of it. And I'm back there. I've got no link to it, I don't understand it, I was never uh, an alcoholic. So, so what I'm saying is, in your walk, don't be surprised if God gather people around you that understand your kind of problem, so that you can help each other. Let's pray. Father, Lord, to have my own relationship with you is the best thing that I can think of. And Lord, to walk the walk with you is my first priority. To focus on you is my first priority. To be in, 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 a, in, in your spirit that's inside me every moment of every day is my, is, is my focus, is my priority. Sometimes my focus is not there, Lord. But I'm ready to try to get, get, it, get it there every second of every day. This is my heart. This is where I want to be. Thank you that you are always available for intimacy. Thank you, Lord, that our busy programs keep us busy, but you are always available. You don't have a busy program that, that keeps you busy. You're just available in every time I focus on you. I thank you, Lord. Um, I haven't got the words to say how much I appreciate it to have, 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 have a God like you. You are the only, you are the only living God that, that rules the entire universe. But you know how many years is on my head. Every time I think of it, I want to cry about it. There's nobody like you. My name. I love you all. Looking forward for the days and months and years to come. In the name of Jesus. Amen.